I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> so, what do you have to say, Tom? It's great. It's no, no, no. Another? First, you say, say, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you, Chris, for thank you, Chris, for, for suffering. helping. Because, <laughs> because I was stupid. Say, I was stupid. I didn't do the things that I was supposed to do a day before, and I didn't listen to my wife. No. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, uh, obviously we have a bed. We have a bed again, which, uh, what, we moved here in the middle of, uh, what, was October? Mm -hmm. And now it's end of uh, February and we finally have a bed. Well, right now I'm actually washing the, um, the laundry. Um, the laundry, sorry. Um, I ate, I'm sorry. And our bedroom, Start to look more like a bedroom. Okay, still here a lot of stuff that we have to deal with, but tonight we're going to sleep for the first time in bed since a long time. I just I, I don't know. I just <laughs> sleep in a bed for a long time now. Um anyways, I'm really happy. I could cry of happiness right now. Um and uh thank you Chris for all the um the help and the patience and uh all the less than happy moments that we had and oh um, well you fell but I, I caught you so that was thankful i mean thank god that you actually didn't really fall on because it was like a, a lamp that you could have hidden on. well i don't want to think about it anyways we have a bed yay so why am i so excited is because um first of all we were missing a very important piece and we had to deal with insurance and we found out that actually we're missing even this this um this coat rail and I have to order another one from Ikea uh, and I'm, tomorrow I'm going to put clothes inside anyway but <clears throat> the problem with this is that the the height of the room in Europe it's higher than in USA and um, I mean we first of all we were never sure if this is going to fit at all in this room so we were prepared to just uh, discard it but then when we saw that actually it might fit I was like oh okay uh, the problem was when we actually we mounted each module we realized that The diagonal of this object when you're supposed to like push it like from somehow to you know To prop it and to just put it in the right position on a standing position It's it's bigger than the actual height of the room. So that's that's horrible and we tried it like uh, Two nights ago and I was like, oh god, oh god. And then I was, I was prepared to just like, fine, this is never gonna work. I mean, or the only way this is going to work is actually if we <laughs> make each um, module like standing, which is a much trickier job than to actually prepare it, um, I mean, each of them horizontally. So, yesterday we had Chris here um, to help us and this is just was crazy because we had to improvise uh, to make it somehow to, to work as like uh have like two sides of each and then prop the the, the third side and then the, the top and then have another one and then one that actually had the uh, missing stuff or like one of these like knobs or what not knobs uh, like nuts or whatever nuts <laughs> um this these things that um uh, connect the, um, what's the, name? the the these panels um uh, this type of accessories um and um some of them they were missing or not enough or were semi broken whatever and it's like oh shit but somehow we managed and today uh because as i said uh, tom didn't listen to me when i said that the the top rail uh this one here I'm gonna show it to you this one here was not uh, well put so there were problems when we placed the second door the not the first one but the second door because you have to install it is this this whole mechanism and they're quite heavy and we couldn't do it alone I mean it was easier when he did it back in, in Europe but here it was like I mean the whole experience so far <laughs> being in USA is bad it's been just one absurd moment after another so, yes and that's another thing i just hate this freaking washing machine that's so primitive and uh with the, and this is actually a new one 
and that was replacing our older uh, washing machine and, and I get it here just I mean to have a, a, a washer and a dryer it's a luxury but not in Europe I mean to have a washer uh, and I just hate the, this type of, uh, how should I say, plus it's not efficient and I, and I cannot wash a lot of stuff because it has this in the middle and I cannot wash like jackets or whatever, bigger things. So yes, I, I there's many things that I, I don't know where to begin, but um, there's many frustrations um, gather inside me, but having this tonight is like it's going to wash away a little bit um, all the things that we have suffered. <laughs> All this month, um, I just I feel like the, these past few days I, I had another meltdown, and so Chris, I'm really sorry for my meltdown. I just feel like um, I, I just want to cry, literally. I just want to cry because I feel like this is going nowhere. And um, God, we, we're here, as you can see. We had to improvise also with the, the I say the whole arranging of the bed. It wasn't necessarily the the way we wanted to have it here but because uh, the the bedroom size doesn't allow it the way we want it well good luck with that anyways um yeah uh what else what else what else i think um what else do i think i would say that uh i'm grateful first of all i am grateful that that we have this first of all grateful that we had help so thank you again, Chris. Sorry for my meltdown. And um, yes, um, we have a bed. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear stupid fish. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. So what do you have to say on your birthday, Tom? Thank you. <laughs> You're happy. He's happy. Anything else? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> so, oh yes. Sorry, the, the bed is not made, but oh god, it's so good to be in my own bed. Finally, after all these months of suffering. So we were yesterday shopping. And I found this in Costco. This is unbelievable. But I found Jane Austen, like this luxury edition. See? Very cool. And it has four, uh, four books. It has Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, Northanger Abbey. Um, it's such a delight to read it because, um, I mean, Jane Austen, even if, I don't know, not not a lot of you know about it, although you should. Um, in a way, the problems are still very much um, contemporary with uh, with us, and the writing style. It's although the language is actually well, it's more of an old English, which actually reminds me of my own language in the sense of like how the sentences are formed and some of it of the of the German language. Which, anyways, um, but. I see more expressions, more um, things that uh, give that flavor and that depth the, that uh, English can also have. Um, and anyway, it's just written with humor, it's smart, so I think that's why all of us who love Jane Austen love the, uh, these books. So let me show you inside how this looks like. And and by now I just want to read again um, Pride and Prejudice so it's very very funny, very amusing and very smart so yes, uh, ah, and I found this for Tom a book of my oh, my childhood so this is the Iliad and the Odyssey say Iliad and Odyssey which is funny because the, the cover is basically the same as I had when I was a kid, although it's in a, in a smaller format. But again, this is also like a deluxe edition, which is kind of cool. So yes, this is Tom's present. And I told him he definitely needs to read this because 
he's actually a fan of myths and legends and on oh, his education this is for him and um yeah he should definitely read it <sighs> god it's so good to be in bed sorry at the moment though we still have to um solve the problem there but they have a bed So the man is at the cooking, uh, how should I say, it's his duty tonight, the only his birthday because on my birthday I also cook. So we're going to have something nice, I'm boiling some pasta, some brown red pasta, and he made the sauce, sorry, it's kind of a mess here. But one of the positive stuff is that we finally, I placed an order for the, the missing stuff around here. And I couldn't buy, well, I couldn't uh, place for everything, but we have to go there and buy maybe the rugs and maybe some lamps or some shura because I forgot to put that, that in the order. And uh, yeah, at least to have the base <laughs> and details and nice things in time. <laughs> and I'm hungry now. What do you think we're gonna eat, Tom? Five minutes. Five minutes? Okay, five minutes. So this is what Tom did for us. Tom, thank you. Happy birthday again. And this is part two. I think you've seen already this. Old but this story. Is, what? Oh, story. story. But that's his favorite. So that's why I let him. That's why I let him cook the stuff because this is his favorite thing. That reminds him of what Jennifer. Next time I try something else. Okay, next time. But also with pasta. Yeah, this is but this is brown rice pasta. Please have, bear this in mind. This all it's here. It's vegan. So this is brown rice pasta with the cheese, vegan mushrooms, garlic, lots and lots of garlic here and there, and some nice wine. So you can say hello to family in hello, Romania. La mulțime pentru Tom and herzlich. Hello, uh, familia aus <laughs> Hamburg, Hamburg, Deutschland, aus Hamburg. <laughs> Viele liebe Grüße ja, aus liebe, liebe Grüße aus uh, Highland Park. And this is Tom's uh, how say dinner, so Geburtstag dinner. So cheers. No. no. Prost. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Hmm. Perfect. Um, to, to make this even more perfect, we're gonna watch. It's complicated mm -hmm. because it's a relaxing, cool movie that goes really well with what you're eating. So let's bon enjoy. Appetit. Yeah, bon appetit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Lovely. No? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Very good. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Anniversary. Mm -hmm. Your anniversary. Some things never change. <laughs> How was your birthday, Tom? Huh? How was your birthday? Super. How, how, how does it feel to be, to be uh, 30, speak about age. 37? Oh, please. So, how does it feel? Like uh, 14. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel young. I feel like I'm in high school, so... Exactly, so any special wishes, requests? <laughs> Stop saying it. <laughs> Nothing? You don't say anything? No, I'm happy. You're happy? What else? <laughs> Let's hope that the uh, apartment can this whole Oh yeah, as I said earlier, I placed the order in Officially, it says that it might show up uh, on our door. Well, One week? Yeah, like uh, the 3rd of March or something like that, which is. No, or the 2nd of March, I'm not sure exactly, which is Monday or Tuesday next. No, not next week, the week after that. And I was like, holy shit, I hope not. We really hope that the whole thing will be here before next Saturday, which is when we're going to have the, the guest, because otherwise, we won't have. I mean, we'll have this. I mean, we're going to switch it and Fantastic. have a longer. Ta I mean, make the the table um, ex extend the table. But hold on, this part will also look like something more of a home. 
So yeah. Anything else? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.